Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about literal equations, and we're going to solve each equation for the indicated variable. So if I was given this equation, g equals 4ca, that's 4 times c times a, minus 3ba, 3 times b times a, and we're going to solve that for a. So I'm going to rewrite my equation here, so I have some room, 4ca minus 3ba. So what I want to do, actually, this is fairly quick and simple, is I see there's an a in both parts here, and it's subtracted by uh, subtraction. So I, I kind of break this out of two, two parts there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out an a from that, from both parts. And that will leave me with a 4c minus a 3b. Now take a moment to think about that. If I multiply the a back into both parts, I'd get 4ca minus 4ba. But by pulling it out here, I now have multiplication in A. There's only one A now left, which makes it nice. So now I say to divide by, well, what's inside the parentheses, 4C minus 3B to both sides. 4C minus 3B. Now, you don't need to um, put the parentheses when you divide it, but I just did. A is by itself on the right, and my left, I just had G divided by 4C minus 3B. And A is already isolated. We're done. All I'm going to do is rewrite this to make it nice and neat and put A going first. So I have A equals G over 4C minus 3B, and then we're good. We're good to go. That's it. That's our final answer. So let's recap. We're given, with, uh, given the problem G equals 4CA minus 3BA, and we're going to solve that for A. I rewrote my equation, and then I notice I could pull out an A from both parts here. By doing that, I'm left with 4C minus 3B in parentheses all multiplied by A. What that allows me to do then is divide both sides by 4c minus 3b, giving me a by itself on the right, and on the left, g over 4c minus 3b. Well, I can rewrite that to have a come first, because that looks nice and neat, and so my final answer here is a equals g over 4c minus 3b.